Bar for Bar EP Reviews. Lupe Fiasco, Kaylin Ellis, and Virgil Abloh. House. House is an EP from Chicago rapper Lupe Fiasco and producer Kaylin Ellis with features from Chicago fashion man Virgil Abloh. This project really just kind of came out of Lupe finding Kaylin Ellis's beats online and just rapping over them. And this pretty quickly turned into the two working together for a full EP. It's been a little while since we've gotten a project from Lupe, so it's exciting to see what he has to show us. This EP is fairly short, at a total runtime of 22 minutes with five tracks. Many of the tracks have uh, spoken word pieces from Virgil Abloh as well, which surprisingly doesn't break up the flow of the project at all. Everything Virgil added was actually really just for the benefit of the project and made Lupe's lyrics more impactful, I feel. Getting to the project itself though, we start off with the track Homemade, which is really just a spoken word introduction from Virgil. The title translates to man-made, which alludes to a point that Virgil makes later on in the track. He starts off by bringing up these existential questions of where our planet sits amongst all other celestial bodies, uh, where people, like we as a people, sit in the history of art, and what an image of a house is to us individually. These topics are really brought up to set, a, set the tone for the project and to let the listener know what they're in for later on. The first song on this project is Dinosaurs, and apparently this was written for his nephew and his godson after a trip to the museum. But it also alludes to the lasting power of these older rappers like Lupe and Royce and Black Thought. Lupe uses the dinosaurs as an analog to how rappers and people are seen as time goes on. Rap fans will always look back to the forefathers of rap and their pre like, you know, people that came before them and see the progress and changes that have been made as time went on. It could also just be talking about people in general where we look back at history and think about the pedestal that we put people on. There's a line here that really ties in the old rapper bit though. An asteroid flew down and blowed up the groan. The babies too, the whole family. The entire Brady crew bit the dust like food from the floor. Just imagine one day all the Cruncheroos was removed from the store. And not just shoot off the stage, but boot off to the tour. This, tri uh, this line is talking about how things just kind of go away one day. Like, you have, you can have these older rappers basically running the radio one day. And then all of a sudden, the next day, we don't hear anything from them, and in their place are these newer rappers. The next track, Sledum, talks about the history of models and modeling. And I guess that makes sense for Virgil to be in, involved now. But anyways, um, he starts off by keeping things a bit more general and talking about working and having a job so you can enjoy leisure time. And he also started to talk about how people really want to find a job that they enjoy and that they're actually good at. This then begins his talk about modeling. Uh, this song, I feel like, is likely written because of the surge of people trying to find ways to generate income during quarantine. And then they turn to places like OnlyFans to model and gain supporters. <laughs> the chorus is a bit on the nose, too, where they say, and you've got to model it using your body to sell things on the internet. Have you tried modeling? This could be seen as a suggestion that people get based on their photos when they post on Instagram or Twitter. Or it could just be the thought that some people have when they're looking back at their pictures. Like, yo, maybe I should try modeling. When we get to the second verse, Lupe reminds people that modeling doesn't have to be, like, nude modeling. Like, there are other forms of modeling out there. And he gives examples like Muslim women modeling their eyes, you know, since they wear full burqas, or people working for McDonald's modeling fries. I think what he's trying to do here is really open the, really open eyes of people who think modeling on the internet is just porn. He's letting people know that there are other forms of modeling out there that they can pursue if they want. It's also kind of funny because, like with the McDonald's point, like, there's so many people that are like, I don't want to work for McDonald's. Like they think of that as like the lowest tier job, but, and like it has like a negative connotation to it, but it could still help provide a step into a career that you want, which, you know, kind of goes into the thought of you got to start somewhere. The next track, Shoes, is a track that uses the waiting in line and getting a hyped pair of shoes 
and compares it to the treatment of black people. It also really focuses in on what happened to Ahmaud Arbery. I've already done a full breakdown of this song, so check that out if you want a more in-depth analysis. I do really enjoy this track though, because it blends Virgil's verse, sorry, it blends Lupe's verses with Virgil's spoken word really well. This brings us to the final track, LF95. And this is technically the first song because it tells the story of how Lupe came across Kalen's production and, you know, started working with him. It also kind of works us through his creative process. I want to say that the title of the song is a play on the N95 mask that people should be wearing and that were recommended way back when the coronavirus was first spreading. And the LF is for Lupe Fiasco, if you couldn't tell. Through the song, he really talks about the coronavirus and, and the losses that we have faced. But he also reminds people to stay in the house. <laughs> I also really just enjoy this line towards the end of the song where he says, you gotta cough out. So LF95 is like a cough drop meets Kafka meets Bane. First he mentions coughing. You should cover your mouth when you cough, especially now. And the LF95 mask will help you cough less. It does so by limiting the particles that someone near you may be coughing out from entering your own body. So if everyone wears masks, it acts like a cough drop because you won't be coughing. <laughs> I also like this line because of the play on words with cough drop and Kafka. Uh, the two philosophers he mentions here are Franz Kafka and Alexander Bain. But I think that's just kind of a play on words. And also Bane is another play on words, alluding to the Batman villain, Bane, who always wears a mask. See where this is going? Wear a damn mask. This project was really enjoyable though. The production was especially good, and I feel that it fits Lupe's style really well. Lupe is just one of those people that stuff their tracks with, and like lyrics with an abundance of metaphors and references that many people won't get on their first few listens. A lot of his music really just takes time to fully understand, which does suck if you're going for commercial success. However, I think Lupe is at the point where he's comfortable where he is, and he has a dedicated fan base, so. Don't know what else he could really ask for at this point. My favorite tracks on this album, Project EP, are all of them. They're all really good. <laughs> all I can say now is that I hope that these two work together in the future, and hopefully we get to hear more production from Kaylin Ellis on other rap projects too. With all that said, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this EP, um, and if you want me to break down any of the other tracks, because you know, Lupe is actually just one of those people that it's really fun to break down his tracks because of all these references. It's just that just go everywhere. Anyways, like and subscribe if you want to see more content and reviews like this. Thank you for watching and stay safe out there.